Five years ago, I reported on this, a camera from a startup called Lytro, which housed some quite magical optical smarts. Instead of taking a flat 2D image, it captured a scene in all its 3D glory. As a result, you could change the focus after you'd actually taken the shot, or even subtly shift the perspective. It did this by taking in so-called light rays onto the sensor from all distances in the scene. Clever as it was, Lytro's consumer camera and subsequent prosumer model never took off, proving too pricey to tempt shutterbugs away from the trusted bigger brands. Well, now from the ashes, a new phoenix has arisen. A beast of a camera giving movie makers a new palette of creative tools. And this is it, Lytro Cinema, capturing a simply staggering amount of information from the world around it. It's got millions of tiny lenses inside, and that's sucking in light into a 755 megapixel sensor. The end result is in fact more like a 4K image, using the same core light field technology as the still cameras. Knowing the distance of objects or people in front of the lens means they can be isolated and replaced more easily than with today's blue or green screen technology. Of course, as with the original cameras, you can decide where to focus the shot in the footage after you've captured it, or change the perspective on a scene, even do crazy things with motion. But doesn't this newfound creative palette mean the director's vision can be tinkered with? No, in fact, what we do is we record as metadata what the decision was made on set, and that's the first thing what we render out. We also record a whole lot of other aperture views, which means different perspectives, and we offer that array of different perspectives and a whole range of, of refocus range to make your shot different from when you originally controlled it. It should enable creativity in filmmaking rather than remove it. Saying that we can lock it in is one thing, and actually achieving it is really a very different thing. And somebody anywhere in the path, uh, an editor, editors do fantastically important things for movies, but they're not the people who should be shaping the images. Lytro clearly has one eye on the next generation of filmmakers, those producing content in virtual reality. It's developed a light field VR rig called the Emerge. Content made with this camera would let you move around live action VR environments, something impossible today where you're rooted to a particular spot. This kind of so-called computational imaging technology might be compelling, but of course it's not cheap. Renting the cinema rig starts at $125,000. Right now it's aimed at the pros, but who knows, a few years down the road we may just see it re-emerge as a creative tool for budding filmmakers everywhere.